I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man, and maybe this is just me, but this is the way I've come to understand my spiritual journey and spirituality and my mindset, which is this. God exposes your life for what it is, and he exposes the good in your life, and he exposes the bad in your life, and he gives you this option. And do you want to continue to follow the good in your life and get blessed and fight and fight for everything you're building? Or do you want to continue to go into toxic in your life and continue to do what you were doing before? And to me, I feel like I have too much good in my life and too much positiveness flowing through my life. And I'm transitioning into a person that I've never been before building something I have never built before and becoming comfortable exposing and <clears throat> exposing and transforming excuse me into something I've never transformed into before to ever go back to that negative way of living and that negative way of thinking I used to think and I feel like in life that's what it comes down to when it comes down to your spiritual journey and your spiritual path in life. You have to make that decision now that you know what your life is. Do you want to continue to support that toxic way of living, that negative way of living you used to live, or do you want to make that life change to keep your spiritual blessings going? And to me, what I'm doing what I'm doing in my positive life is way better and brand new compared to what I used to do in my toxic life. So I'm choosing my positive life over my toxic over my toxic form of life. I don't want anything that make me feel the way I used to feel when I was living my toxic life. And if anything tries to come back or come around me that reminds me of it I quickly get myself away from it or out of that energy because I don't want nothing to pull me back. I want everything to push me forward and pull me up. And if nothing does, and if nothing does and nothing changes, then there's something you need to change. There's something you're not admitting. There's something you're not getting away from. You need to get away from anything that pulls you down makes you feel negative or makes you feel anything like the way you used to feel, especially when you work as hard as I have, changing your life and building your life and bringing yourself positivity and reminding yourself who you are. You don't need anything to make you step back or step back in that old energy. That's why I avoid anything that makes me feel any anything of that old negative energy. I try to get away from it, and I encourage you guys, anybody that's done work to get away from my old life or old way of living know what I'm talking about. Anything that puts you back in that mindset or puts you back in that energy or puts you back in that frame of thinking, you need to stay away from and never go around again. That's why I don't hang around some of the things I used to hang around or do some of the things I used to do because it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel like the same energy. And I don't like negative energy. I want to be positive all the time. And that's why I hang around my new positive friend with my new positive friend energy. And I'm thankful I met them because it gets me back to who I was always meant to be. And anything that brings me negative energy or doesn't make me happy, I have the common sense to realize that I don't need to let it drain my energy or I don't need to be around it. So I leave it alone, which is why I'm suggesting to you guys, anything that brings you down or takes away from your creativity or not makes you feel the best version of you, you don't need to be around. You need to cut and leave alone. But you have to come into the... You have to come to that realization for yourself. And I know for some people with good hearts, it's not easy for you to do because you don't want to let go of 
helping some people. But some people can't be helped. You just have to let life be what it is and let them be who they are. And no matter how much it hurts you, you have to let go to better yourself, in my opinion. You have to look out for you because if you don't, who else is going to? You're the only person that truly cares about you when it comes down to it. Not saying that other people don't care about you, but nobody's going to care about you more than you care about yourself. And if you continue to put yourself in toxic situations, and toxic things are going to continue to happen. You put yourself in better situations, better things are going to continue to happen. It depends on what you're exposed to and what you want to live with, what type of life you want to live. Do you want to live your best life or your worst life? It depends on what you choose to support and what you choose to live by. I choose to live the best of my spiritual life because since I've entered spirituality, it's completely changed my life and brought me the best of things. It brought me the best friendships, the best relationship, and the best time of my life. And that's what I want to continue to live in. I don't want anything to remind me of my old life or my old life energy. So I'm cutting ties from anything that will remind me or bring me that energy. It's the way I choose to live for me and it's the way I hope you choose to live for you. For those of us that's been through a lot and got away from a certain type of life, don't let that old energy pull you back in because I know it's trying hard right now. I know it's trying to make you feel it again. Don't go around it, don't pay attention to it, don't give it any life. And if you have to stand up to it to get rid of it and keep your good life going, that's what you do. But you do not, by any form, give in to it or let it come back and put you back in that energy ever again. But that's what I feel like I needed to say for today. And that's what I wanted to leave you guys with. I hope it helps motivate, encourage, and empower you as much as it helped me to make it, in my opinion. Stay in my power and stay away from it. If the spiritual journey taught me anything, is that you are strong enough to deny it. You do have the power over those negative entities. They have no power over you. You just have to believe it. Trust and believe that. And I'm going to be living proof of that. Of that, I promise you, in my opinion. Sorry, my voice starting to <laughs> sound a little bit funny there. I got a little choked up. I was eating a Pop-Tart early. LOL. That's it.